Today I'm going to show you how to edit car interiors in Lightroom. Welcome back to another Lightroom editing tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to edit car interiors in Lightroom to get that moody look and also bring out a lot of details of car interiors. I have done a video about how to edit cars in Lightroom. So you should go check that out. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. This is the image that we're going to be editing today. I found a nice image of a car interior. It has brown leather seats, overall black interior. And just look, overall looks really nice. Look at a quick before of what it looks like. See, it's a pretty flat image. You can see a lot of the detail, but I want to bring that detail out even more. And also add a bit of a cool tone to it while getting that moody look. So this is the final edit we're going to be achieving today. And before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Lightroom editing tutorials. And let me know down in the comments below what other presets or videos you would like to see. I'm going to start by making a virtual copy. Just get started with a clean edit. First thing I'm going to do is make the image a little cooler. Just so we can go towards that cool moody look. I'm also going to bring down the tint towards green. Next thing I'm going to do is increase the exposure. Just to make the image a little brighter and then add some contrast as well to the image. The majority of the contrast we're going to be adding in this image is going to be from the tone curve. First, want to add a little bit on here as well. I'm going to start decreasing the highlights. And when I do that, you can see that you can see more detail outside. And so that really helped bring that down. And also going to bring up the shadows so we see some detail down here in the interiors. And then by increasing the shadows, it kind of washed out the image. So what I'm going to do is bring down the whites and then bring down the blacks as well. So you see that kind of helped make the image look a little better since it was washed out. Now I'm going to increase the texture so we can bring some detail out of the leather over here, the steering wheel and also the seats. I'm going to bring up the texture bring up the clarity so we can see some more detail and then dehaze it a little bit bring that up so it's not too faded now I'm going to bring down the vibrance let's there's not too much color but then bring some color back with the saturation all right there we go let's just look at it before and after it's the quick basic edit I did and so now we're going to move on to the tone curve where we're going to be doing majority of the coloring on this image. And I may think that this only controls the light values of the image, but there's also three curves right here that we can adjust the color. So if we move, this is the red, green, and blue curves. And in the new update, it now shows the color that you'll be moving it to. So if you bring this up and we'll move it towards red, we bring this down and move it towards like a cyan, and that's same for the other sliders. So first I'm going to start off with this red slider over here and what I'm going to do is bring down the shadows right here and then bring up the highlights and as I'm doing this it's kind of making the image like weird colors but when we do all three it's going to even it out overall. So I'm going to bring that down. Alright so now let's move over to the green and do the same thing. Bring this down over here and then bring this up and then the blue I'm going to bring this down and then bring this up. I may have to do some fine tuning to get the colors looking just about right but if we just look at a quick before and after you can see this added a whole lot of contrast to the image. And also it colored the image a little bit too, making it towards that blue moody, deep moody look. And then if we want, we can also go to the basic light panel and just kind of make some basic adjustments. So what I'm going to do with this one is bring up the black point just to fade the image a little bit and bring this down just to deepen that black and add some more contrast. And then increase the highlights just a little bit and then crush the whites just a little bit more. All right, and so this is the before and after. You can see it's a dramatic difference on how much this tone curve did. And I would definitely check out these three sliders. You can do a lot of coloring, and honestly, you don't even need the other panels. 
to help with the color. You can do everything in the tone curve. That's how powerful this is. For this one, I'm just going to move on to the HSO just to fine tune the colors a little bit more. I'm going to start by adjusting the reds. There's in the background, you can see the trees. There's really bright orange. I don't want to bring too much detail to that because the main focus of this image is the interior of the car. So what I'm going to do is increase the res, make it towards an orange. And then bring down the, bring up the orange towards that yellow. And then bring down the yellows towards orange a little bit. So now that we've adjusted the hue, I'm going to adjust the saturation of those. And I'm mostly just going to desaturate those colors since that's not going to be the main focus of the image and you know, I don't want to draw too much attention to it. And then bring down the yellows as well. Now I'm just going to adjust the luminance just to make it a little brighter or smaller. I'm going to make the reds darker, but I feel like the oranges and yellows are a bit too dark, so I'm going to bring those up a little bit. Alright. You can see those aren't as noticeable and you can see the car interior more. Now the main thing I'm going to do for this is adjust the blues. That's like the main look we're going for. So I'm going to start by increasing the greens. And then adjust the aquas towards to get that more blue look. And then I'm just the blues just a little bit towards that aqua. Now I'm going to adjust the saturation of those colors. I'm mostly going to desaturate it again. Greens just a little more than others. And desaturate the aquas a little bit. And the blues as well. Now we're also going to make those a little darker to get that deep moody look in this image as well. Alright. There we go. So now I just adjusted the blues. I'm also going to make some adjustments with the purple. You can kind of see the purple on the seats over here. And adjust that a little bit as well. I'm bringing down the purples a little bit. Bring down the reds. Now I'm going to desaturate that purple as well and magenta. There we go. And I'm also going to make the, the purple darker. I'm going to increase the magenta a little bit. Let's just look at a quick before and after you can see this made the colors look a lot better. Now I'm just going to add some like more tint to, to the highlights and the shadows through split toning. I'm just going to press alter option, set the hue at 100 and bring this up towards like a orange yellowish color and then bring up the saturation. And then for the shadows, I'm going to go towards like a tealish color and bring that over there. And then I'm going to adjust the saturation. So just kind of just balance the image overall, get that almost teal and orange look to the image and added that blue you can see in the shadows. So now what I'm going to do is just sharpen the image to make it look a lot better. I'm bring some detail and then mask it. If you press Alter Option, you can actually see where you're masking the sharpening to. So I mostly want to cover the edges, so I'm going to bring that up. All right. I'm also going to decrease the noise a little bit as well. And then the color noise as well. Just kind of just sharpen the image, made it a lot cleaner. Now I'm going to move to the camera calibration. This is where I can just fine tune the colors a little more. So I'm going to bring down the red primary. A lot of times I see that people rely on the camera calibration for doing the majority of coloring. There's nothing wrong with that, I just don't really like using the calibration because that changes the colors like, drastically of the image. And so I like to do majority of my coloring through the HSL and maybe the tone curve as well. Just finish up the blues over here. And so just, just fine-tune the colors a little bit more. 
So this is the overall edit, just look at a quick before and after you can see this added a lot of contrast to this image and also made that deep moody look in, on the car interior. And so overall this is a really nice edit for car interiors in Lightroom. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial on how to edit car interiors in Lightroom to get that moody cool look. If you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe for more Lightroom editing tutorials. Let me know down in the comments below what other videos or presets you would like to see. Thanks for watching.